Welcome to Purple and Gold Weekend. It's been a wonderful few days to really reflect on the great work our students and faculty and staff do every day on this campus, to think about the future of the institution as we start a new chapter. And tonight, we really reflect and we reward those whose outstanding service to the institution and to the world deserve our respect. So now we pause to hear from those who know them the best. I tell you, Marcus is a, I call him a young guy, and he's just uh, epitomizes, I think, the word of giving back. In Albion, he was a, a basketball player that played for me. After graduation, he's uh, been a coach at a number of places. Whether it's on the college level here at Albion College or at the high school level at Concord High School, he's done an outstanding job of impacting young people. You know, when he was a player, the enthusiasm and, and the passion, he played the game. And just seeing him now as a coach, and he displays that same enthusiasm and passion. He was a leader uh, of our team when he was here, and he's been a mentor to young people for a long time. Mike has done it his way. He's done extremely well as a coach and as a young man. And seeing him grow when he was a, a youngster, seeing him score, getting a little envious because he passed me up on the scoring record. <laughs> Mike is certainly one of the, one of the best players we've ever had at Albion. I remem remember a shot that he made that was unbelievable against uh, John Carroll that was just over half court that won the game at the, at the very end. It was a buzzer beater. His leadership and, and his passion and his drive are, were certainly impactful for our program. To lead young people is not always easy. Uh, and he's done it a number of years in different locations. And he really has represented, I think, uh, Albany College in, in an extremely uh, first-class fashion. Mike Jekno is just an easy person to identify as being worthy of this accomplishment and this recognition at Albion College. Mike knows the importance of giving back. I think that's a critical lesson that individuals foster at Albion College. You know, my connection with Mike didn't stop. He's stuck with me all this time as he has all the other Albion alumni at EY. And, you know, in the past five or six years, he's been a great mentor and, and a leader to me. I've worked with him directly and indirectly. I mean, he's had a very successful career and he's still been able to remain committed to the college and to um, alumni that have come from Albion. He's willing to support students, to mentor students, to shepherd students, to cultivate pipelines of talent. He is Albion College. He is the best of what we do and really lives up to that. Keith bleeds purple and has a heart of gold. Uh, I first met Keith when he was on the alumni board um, and he right away came over to the admission office and asked for names of students in his area and wrote personal handwritten notes. The track teams in 80 and 81 uh, made the Albion Hall of Fame team and Keith's a member of that and a Hall of Fame member. We had a, a young man whose grandmother uh, passed away suddenly when we were on a national cross-country trip. Family couldn't really pay for the funeral and you can probably guess who stepped up and paid for the funeral. So that's Keith Roberts. He's not only concerned about the college, but he's concerned about the community he's given over the years. Um, he is the perfect example of what you would want an Albion grad to be. There's just something about Joey. There's a spark. He's got this great personality. Joey is a very fun, enthusiastic, and generous person. He has this interest in the culinary arts and also an interest in business and economics, and he took kind of all of these passions and interests 
and he formed a business. He literally put in a text to me once, I wouldn't be who I am if it weren't for Albion College. And so I really want to try to figure out what I need to do to help provide that same experience and opportunity for others. He decided to create this slushy drink at Frank's and sell this slushy drink and the proceeds of it would go to make donations to provide a venue for graduation and to support students to have opportunities that they were missing out during COVID and that's it's Albion, right? That's what we do. So Marie has always been a super positive and enthusiastic individual. And I always just remember her as kind of one of our biggest hype people. She was always so positive, enthusiastic. She took organic chemistry like she, like she was uh, riding a raft down uh, rapids in the mountains. Uh, she was kind of terrified of it and yet having a great time. She sent me an email that said, Dr. Harris, I'm completely terrified and yet looking forward to this next exam. Can you explain to me how that's possible? <laughs> I'm like, no, I cannot. I don't know anyone else who does it that way. And she's back serving the Albion community as a physician. Um, so I think that's just really inspiring to students that she followed her dreams and goals and that she's able to now give back to the community where she went to school and a community that I know is really special to her. She brings people together in a way that makes them stronger and more successful whatever they're doing. Mitch is a great example of not only what it means to be an Albion College student and grad, what it means to be a member of the Ford Institute or 40, but what it means to be a student of the liberal arts. Running to be a student senator representing the freshman class, his slogan was, vote more, get more. It was kind of a play on his, uh, his last name. Really cared about hearing both sides of the issues and making the campus a better community for all. And I think he's done that on a bigger scale within the state of Michigan. Uh, Mitch is one of the most relentlessly selfless people that I know. You know, Mitch has had a great uh, career in, in public service. He obviously truly cares about working in the legislature and working for the people of the state of Michigan. And it's not just a job for him. I mean, it's really, truly a passion that he has. He is just a shining example of what it means to be a public servant. And that story should inspire students to serve their communities just like Mitch does. Thank you all for being here tonight, and thank you to our 2024 Alumni Award recipients for all their wonderful work. It's been great to hear about your contributions, both to the college and to the world. It's really a reflection of how wonderful the Albion College educational experience is. It gives us a true opportunity to say it's a great day to be a Brit.